What the? <laughs> what, what just happened? Um, I just uh failed. Search the building for Murphy. Uh oh. Whoa, oh. Oh God. Get your stuff back. I don't have any of my weapons. And I have none of my gear. Oh, this is not good. Ugh. Oh god. Oh that that did not work. Oh god. <laughs> this is this is a death trap. Yes, monkey. Play your Maybe someone will wake up. Okay, um... Let me get my stuff. Is there something in here? Okay, we've got... Some meds. Ugh. Fresh food. Do not spread rumors. Okay, um... Actually, that's not what I want to do. I want to disarm times. Flav? Move you out of the way. Nice. Oh, boy. Oh, this uh, looks uh, interesting. Rule breakers will be shot or worse. Can I just talk to hey, you? Hey, ain't enough food around. Can't think about nothing else when you got a hole in your tummy. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got some stuff here, but we don't have our... Let's mark it. This is a bad place. <clears throat> ain't looking for trouble, I hope. Excuse me. Get the hell away from me. Added rags. Shot collar. Or game. Um. <clears throat> if this is my life, kill me now. That looks like it sucks. Let's look in here and see if we can't find any of our gear. Nope. Um. All right, let's. Try to get through here now. That's it. Hello? It's your business to know what you're putting in your child's bloated belly. That's why sugar bombs are engineered to please both your child and not damage his or her tender, tender brain. Mmm, they taste so amazing. <laughs> Is this an ad going on? Everything you need. Absorb that book. Of course, mother. Sugar bombs are made with nutrients and stimulants. Stimulants and nutrients. Is it like over the PA system, I'm guessing? In a potent breakfast cocktail. Sweet. Provide a day-to-day -day breakthrough in your Oh, life. crap. I can see the future. Sugar bombs may last. Okay, we do not have our life. weapons yet. After How do we... anyone's guess. Buy two boxes and get a third half free until supplies last. Water. What do I have? I have nothing. So fresh when it hits your stomach, blasting your brain with 5,000 taste bolts of volcanic delight. Oh, hold on. Sugar bombs are built from the ground oh, we have something now. Got some magazines. They're all burnt. Okay, we've got a weapon at least. Kind of hoping for more. Oh god, he's up. Oh god, we're. Hey, I think I got something. Back the hell off. Oh god. Oh man, this thing is amazing. He's like ragdolling him. <laughs> Get him! Holy. 
What, is, what kind of pipe is this? <laughs> what kind of pipe? Is, hold on. Wadsworth lead pipe. It, it does like 14 damage, but my goodness. I'm just plopping them. Balance, terminal password. Okay, we've got a baton. Let's, uh, let's gear up here. Okay, at least we have some stuff. I'm actually thinking we should keep this. <laughs> this is pretty amazing. Got some water. Let's go ahead and drink. At least we kept all our meds and whatnot, which is nice. Oh, oh, password again. Mute fruit. That was a good fridge. Okay, uh, we have the ability to move forward. Sugar bombs. Another stem pack. Okay. Balance for the future. Remote door. Closed door? No. Okay, this one says requires terminal. I guess we'll take that. You don't want to need. We don't want. To... Oh crap! Who? No one's who. Oh no! Upstairs? On edge. Yeah, you're on edge. Just calm down. Oh wait, wait, wait. Okay, we got a pistol. Oh god! That was not good. Uh, we got a pistol with a few rounds. Okay, we'll do this, that. Oh, crap. Are we good now? Oh, no, we have a lot of rounds. Actually, we have all the rounds that we normally have. Is that gone now? Okay. Ooh, there's a mine. Oh, I tr Oh, my God. This thing is... This place is booby-trapped. Okay, we need to be careful here. Play processing procedure. When a new fish arrives, they are to be strapped, disinfected, and subject to a full cavity inspection to ensure they aren't smuggling anything in. It should take place in full view of the other slaves for maximum psychological effect. All personal possessions are to be cat um, cataloged, boxed up, and stored. The traps are for show. Most of them should be kept deactivated, but please remember which ones are live. Rip Butch. Radio ad should be played over the intercom at no no longer than 10 minute intervals to ensure continual disruption of prisoner sleep patterns. Oh, that's why that one sugar bomb commercial is going on. Remember the concept of the prison is quite simple. Freedom, movement, movements, and access to basically everything is restricted. But it should be so much or so much more it is a place where dignity privacy and control are given up to guards so where isolation and boredom can drive someone insane and where the simplest of necessities should seem like luxuries we are in the business of slave trading not prisoner rehabilitation provide the bare minimum for the survival until you can find a buyer for the slave this is all Ooh, I don't know if I like that. Lockdown. In response to the latest prisoners uprising, please do the f uh, please do the following. Execute the mail raider slaves. Finding buyers for these latest batch is taking too long anyway. Execute one of the females at random in front of the others. Chain the rest up for the uh, for the next week to reduce food and water rations by half. By using uh, Abraxo to remove 
their graffiti from the walls in the upstairs bathroom. Jeez. Okay, so we've got... We gotta worry about... What just happened? You hear that? Sounds like someone's stemming up. Dogme, is that you? Okay, here we go. Okay, we got a grenade. the radiation value is relative but relatively what is value at Fallon's each price represents our pact with the customer to bring things down to a manageable level of value that also takes luxury into account Ooh. mass production techniques may have brought things up to speed but it's time-honored well-worn oak and varnish tradition that really keeps things classic ah that's progress. Okay, requires terminal. We can go in this one. That's it. We have a chain door. Lack of food. Let's make sure that we're all foodied up. Foodied up? Properly fed. You thrilled to the silver shroud, shivered at the adventures of the single man, wondered at where Mr. Wallace's science would take right, progress let's... tomorrow. Now, next week, an exciting new series begins, chronicling one man's journey into the mind of a communist. Hold on, I see a footlocker here. I've shrunk myself a missile? By atomic relay and managed to pass through space on a molecular level. Oh, my vault suit. Under the earth, I built my fortress, an impregnable fortress that cannot be reached by normal means. I call it the university. While down there, I am plotted. I have planned. Okay, uh, another have footlocker. I am of each of my servants that allows them to pass through, as it were, to travel between worlds. I'm being so cautious. Okay, that one looks like yes. Yes, on their that's brains. trapped. I've learned so much about what it means to be a Ooh. communist. Guns and bullets. Perfect. Ballistic weapons permanently do five plus critical damage. <laughs> yeah, I'll take that. Oh, here's the the graffiti on the walls. Okay. We are going to go back into this other room here. Is there anything here? Oh! Jackpot. I should have critical shot the head. Come on. Okay. That's another one down. Hmm. You know what I could have probably done is some buff out. I would have helped us out do some more damage melee wise. All right, let's make sure that we don't run into any more traps here. Uh, we got a terminal. Aftermath. Gary Fallon. Welcome, Gary Fallon. So this is Gary Fallon's uh, terminal. Uh, why did we have? Uh, why did it have to happen on Saturday? Only a few dozen of us made it in. The Abernathy's. Hutchins, Shaw, Finch, War, uh, Warwick, Sullivan, Har uh, Hargravens, and Pembroke, my family, and a few others. 
If it were Friday, there would be a dozen more of us. Could have been worse, I suppose. I suppose. It's just a dumb luck that Candace decided to schedule bring your kids t- to work day on a Saturday. She ended up saving saving us all. In the hindsight, in the hindsight, I feel like a piece of garbage for firing her. We got enough food and supplies to wait this thing out. Running short on beds. Everybody's wondering when we can go back up. Uh, we can go back upstairs. We're in trouble if the water purifier hooked up and the well breaks down. Need to find a backup source. Okay, so they were trapped down here uh, right when the bombs dropped. We're alone. Everybody's dead. We haven't ventured out far. Still too worried about radiation, but in the areas where we've looked, we haven't found survivors. As much as we uh, that was we prepared, we're, we weren't encountering on being the only ones. We weren't counting on being the only ones. We may have underestimated this thing. We're assuming the attacks were predominantly centered on the military targets and population centers. Being in Concord instead of Boston helped us not get evaporated by the initial nuclear blast or bombarded by fallout. The way I figured it, the biggest cause of death would have been the nuclear explosions, but rather the collapse and sudden disappearance of support service, support services, food, medicine, and other myriad of things we used to take for granted. We're all right on food and water for the time being. Been using graphene oxide to purify the water in addition to our food stores been trying our hand at growing food using some aquaponic systems that cycle nutrients between plants and fish moral is under moral is understanding lo, understandably low main thing right now is to educate everyone about radiation sure it can kill if someone is exposed too much but more often uh, than not it just causes cancer and birth defects after the initial explosion, the biggest risk to a person's health is radiation found in debris left uh, lifted into the fireball during the explosion, as well as the residue on weapons itself. This can travel hundreds of hundreds of miles. So, in the aftermath of an attack, even from a significant distance, you're supposed to stay inside for up to two weeks. But we plan for a month just to be safe. Radiation can at least uh, can last in the atmosphere or in an environment around it for a decade or longer. But after two weeks, it will have decayed to about 1% of initial radiation value. Even with massive surfaces, uh, massive surface nuclear detonation detonations, the level of radioactive fallout dropped by 90% for even sevenfold increase in time. So the level is one hour post blast is 1000 rads per hour. Then after seven hours, it will be 100 rads. And after that, two days, it'll be 10 rads per hour. For two weeks and se- uh, two weeks and seven hours, it's down to one rad per hour. And by 100 days, it's one out. Uh, 100 days, one hour, it's about it's at 100 millirads per hour. After a little under a year, it's 10 milli millirads per hour, which is not a whole lot higher than a natural background level in some places pre-war. By 13 to 14 post destinations, the radiation level would be down to 1 million. Sorry, 13. Yeah, 13, 14 years post detonation. The radiation levels would be down to 1 millirad per hour, which is about half of what you get during a plane ride. Still, we've been wearing hazmat suits when venturing out in the longer term. In the long term. Oh, that's right. They had they had some delivered. <laughs> Did they deliver those to the, the vault, you think? Probably not if they have the hazmat suits. Longer term, we've got plenty of masks as not to breathe in the dust. The more precaution, the better. We're keeping an eye on the symptoms of our scavengers, dizziness, disorientation, weakness, fatigue, hair loss, blood, bloody vomit and stools, poor wound healing and low blood pressure so far. Uh, so far, so good, though. Supply run. Need a supply, so we decided to venture out further and loot everything, every, uh, whatever's left of the world. Most of the folks here stayed behind, but I've always been curious to experience what it's like to to partic- participate in actual anarchy. So I tagged along on the journey. The first spot we hit was a local liquor store. Scorned, uh, scored a nice array of alcohol. In hindsight, we might have to uh, might have had a bit too much to drink while we were in there 
threw a Molotov cocktail at the counter for kicks and ended up turning the whole liquor store into a structure fire. Next stop we hit was Electronic Store by Lexington. Only took one brick to make their front window drop. Still had some good stuff and we finally got the decent PA system for the bunker. When we returned home to up, uh, unload everything, it dawned us that on us that we could have used uh, use a new home furnishing to convert the upstairs office space into a residential area. So once again, we ventured out, but much further this time, to loot Fallon's flagship store. The irony was not lost on us. Our living accommodations have been much more comforting since, but the expedition came at a hefty price. Four of us didn't make it back. Oh my God. We ran into what uh, what can only be described as a group of feral ghouls. However, it did finally answer the question of whether we're alone out here. We'll need to be more careful going forward and stay closer to home in more familiar surroundings. Obituary. Rip Gary Fallon, who passed away yesterday at the age of 88, a true leader at the end, he outlived almost all the original employees' sheltered residents. He is survived by his children, Jess and Rebecca, four grandchildren, one great-grandchildren, and a grateful community. Okay, wow. This is, uh, this is really awesome. Um, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button. It really helps out the channel a lot. Really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you're new here. Okay, we've got a door here and a required terminal. So let's let's do this. Let's look around for traps. We got a key. Alan's master key. Terminal required. At least these aren't locked. Uh, scouting report. So this is Jess, Jess Fallon. With my father's passing, leadership of the community has fallen to me. My first order of business was to change the scouting policy. I understand why my father established the close to home radius, and perhaps it made sense nearly 50 years ago, but it's time to move forward. We're starting venturing out much further looking to form new settlements so that all our eggs aren't in one basket, so to speak. We found a few promising locations. Farm by the power line. Uh, farming, honest labor, they call it. Bunch of brutal nonsense. Best way what we're, uh, best know what you're doing and be prepared for failure, but the Abernathy seem hell bent on making a go of it. They're gonna move in next month. It's still close by. Just a short walk to the west. If this thing doesn't work out, farm under ruin uh, underpass. It's a bit of a trek from here, but it could make a nice settlement someday. Two of the Finch brothers have decided to go lay down roots there. Farm under other ruin overpass. It started as a joke that turned into a bet. We're gonna see uh, if these prissy robots we're go uh, we've got hanging around home base and getting on everyone's nerve can farm. I give it a month tops. Waste treatment plant farm. I tried to talk the Warwicks out of it. It's all the way on the other end of Commonwealth. And, uh, and the processing tanks are foul beyond belief. But they're convinced that the fertile soil is worth the risk. Fenway Park. The place is absolutely uh, an absolute mess. Cleaning it up would be monumental task. Some are convinced it's worth it in the long run. The Great Green Jewel. Uh, we know what that is. That's the... Um... <laughs> Diamond City. Uh, cleanup took over, uh, took over five years. And if you ask me, the place still looks like a dump. Ooh. Okay, Jess. It's not a dump. If you have my if you have my doubts whether they'll ever get it uh, looking good, but nonetheless, it's what some people are calling home now. It does have its advantages, centrally located, well fortified, and the baseball field is an ideal trading hub. All things we lack were here in Concord. 
Who knows? It could turn into a prospect, a uh, prosperous community and a safe haven for settlers. This great green jewel nickname is overreaching a little. Polished turd uh, would be more accommodate or accurate. Battle of Diamond City. A horde of super mutants attacked Diamond City yesterday. Would have been a disaster if it weren't for a group of militia guys called themselves the Minutemen, which we have run into already uh, with Preston. Uh, one of the guys. Uh, one guy on their squad, Murphy. Murphy? Is that... Is that the guy we're looking for? Or kid? I, I was thinking like, kid. Ended up single-handedly saving the whole group of school children. Paranoia would, uh, about Feral is high as ever, but maybe ghoul saving the day. But it may be a ghoul saving the day. Murphy's a ghoul. Will make folks a little bit more tolerated of coexisting in the future. Murphy Ghoul. Maybe a ghoul. The CPG. With the formation of the Commonwealth Provisional Government and the gradual uh, migration of Concord Fallon's residents to the Diamond City and surrounding areas, we decided to uh, repurpose the building. You can't have a government without a justice system. You can't have a reasonable justice system without, a pri uh, without prisons. The bunker here seems like an obvious choice for the prisons. Murphy of the of Diamond City Battle Battle Fame has agreed to move in and become warden for the time being, while continuing to serve at in the Minutemen as needed. So this is a prison. Commonwealth Justice. With the uh, dissolution of the Commonwealth Provisional Government, we've got no tax money to fund the prison. Murphy still believes in the cause but make uh, to make ends meet. He's told us to oper um, the operation needs to become self-funding. Slave trading seems like the only option. The alternative releasing rapists and murderers back into the Commonwealth is far less attractive. At least this way we can get them out of Commonwealth. Oh, so the slaves are basically like murderer, rapists, kind of, they're, they're felons basically. So they're taking the felons and they're making them slaves. Interesting. So it sounds like this Murphy guy is a, a pretty cool guy. Like, I mean, he's trying to do something good, uh, even though that we we got bashed and we're here now. Uh, hopefully it's a, all a misunderstanding. Guys, I'm getting too old for this warden crap. Um, been doing it far too, uh, doing it too long. Call this whatever you want, sabbatical, retirement, or extended vacation, but it's time for me to take a walkabout. Gonna, uh, gonna satisfy that itch for an open road in space over the horizon I think I might head south for a while I'm leaving uh, Ran Rana in charge we built a good thing here it might be brutal but it's necessary don't screw up Murphy Okay, so, so Murphy's not even here corpse decorating he has Rena uh, Rena not gonna cut it uh, cut in on your turf your prison now but now that i'm back is there something you need to uh need to talk to about oh so Mur oh so he came back so he's he went away for a little bit and then came back and found that there's corpses decorating the whole place uh safe control let's dislodge that and then remote door control let's go ahead and open the door Oh, hell. Oh. This is our stuff. Guys, this is our stuff. Oh, we finally got our stuff back. Enter the dungeon? Oh my god, I got so much crap on me. Okay. Um, need that on. Wedding ring. We'll leave the sun. We'll do the patrolman sunglasses. We'll drop one of these. Aviator. Actually, that's a little better. Okay. 
Oh boy. Alright, so doing doing better here. Are we encumbered by chance? We we are tired now. So AP refreshes a little bit less. Over encumbered. Okay, we are. Let's go ahead and drop some of these other leather pieces we don't need. That's what's doing it. Still over. Okay, this is one. I hate that I have to redo this. Let's do two. Uh, let's make that two. That's four and that's three. Uh, this is two and this is three. Let's actually drop a bunch of this stuff on dog meat here. Uh, junk. Dog meat, you can have all that. The missile you can take. <laughs> I mean, what am I going to use that for? All those can go. We have three fusion cells. Fusing cores. Okay. Why don't we drink a Nuka-Cola as well? Num num. Okay, let's go. Enjoy the ride, dead end. Let's go. Well, well. Aren't you the overachiever? I've been admiring your handiwork. We Hello? Have. You put on a good show. Maybe you're not useless after all. Our new friend surely has some questions. Perhaps we should introduce ourselves. Name's Murphy. Head upstairs to the top floor. I've got a proposition for you. And don't worry. We'll play nice this time. Murphy? Find out what these asshats want. <laughs> or it says, uh, uh, yeah. Assholes. Sorry, not asshats. They're basically asshats, too. Uh, requires terminal. Okay, I'm gonna unlock. Couldn't, couldn't they unlock it for me? Hopefully they're not gonna kill me. Oh. Whoa, hello. <clears throat> oh, he's the dude. Oh, that's that. That's his room over there. He's got the mask on. <laughs> he looks like Jason. Okay, I'm guessing... Okay, this is the room where we got our head bashed in. Knocked over. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, this is all props. Yeah, that's Sempak, isn't it? Too bad. Uh, can we find any meds? Microscope. I gotta be careful, because I... Inaccessible. Um, I don't really need to be hauling around too much stuff. I'm getting pretty close to being full anyhow. Nice helmet. Uh, marketing department terminal. It's not even accessible. All catalog update. Copy updates to Marge to consider. Our exclusive new cream dress provides a fun and sun in the sun on the modest budget. Housewives love the sensible cut. Husbands love the emphasis that gives womanly attributes. The terrific conversation piece. This luxury monotone original is completely reversible to give you two exciting looks, providing once again that highly fashionable fashion doesn't always have to come in a higher price. No single store. No matter how large, can truly know the hearts of the desires of American women. More than phallus, the universal knowledge beating heart of the women's garment industry. Leveraging its massive buying power with a keen eye for tasteful design, Fallon's has been known to provide quali 
quality goods for a reasonable price to the countless homes for decades after decade. If it's not fit, it's not Fallon's. The Fallon's guarantee. Sales manager, reminder or remind your sales associates, we must continually re, uh, uh, reinforce to the customers that the guarantee is not to be taken, taken for granted. We stand by it for each and every one of our products. Make eye contact and speak the words firmly with pride swelling in your heart. I know this may be uh, difficult to do dozens of time, times in a single day, but we can look to the example set by Mr. Peacock, who has never failed to mention the Fallon's guarantee to a customer. Every picture in our catalog is crystal clear. Each description is accurate and succinct. Uh, we guarantee that product is exactly as depicted in the catalog, in our, and that's our quality guarantee that each product is tested thousands of times in the lab by serious men in white lab coats who know more about this sort of thing than any other of us who merely sell it, stressing the white coats. Studies show that authority is granted to those who dress in such a specialized costumes that sets them apart from society. There's a fine relationship between the retailer. There's a, yeah, the fine relationships between the, between the, a retailer and a customer foster their relationship, make it stronger and groom it. So the customer's feeling they have no other option. One out of the one out of every eight American workers has an uh, option. Ignore them or concentrate on other, on the other seven. Friday style show. Wow. They have a lot of stuff here. I'm not going to go through the rest of this stuff. That one's quality music radio notes. It looks like some really good, awesome information. Maybe we'll come back to it at some point in time. Dupe. Okay, we got our, our little garden center here. Bedroom. Bunch of power cells and ammo. Don't mind if I do. Aw, oh, who put the empty back? Are you are you guys one of the empties that put the empties back in the the fridge? Drink uh pour yourself a glass of milk or something and then just put it back empty. Ooh, who are you? Oh, Jersey. Eden? book. Why would you need a burnt book? All right, let's keep on going up. Oh, we can unlock this. Sweet. Please give me something good. Please give me something good. Oh. Overdid it. Nice. Please. Fragmentation. Yeah, that's good. Ooh. Ammo is good. I don't really need the sock shotgun shells, but that'll work. Can't open that. That's expert. Rihanna's terminal. So this is all the people here. He knocked out our uh, knocked on our front door a few years back, carrying a freshly baked pie, a holotape, holotape collection, and a machete strapped to his side. Not sure what we were thinking about letting him in. But he's been with us since, splitting his time between maintaining the workshop, the workshop guard duty and watching TV in his own free time. He disappears occasionally for a few days at a time. We're not sure where to, but Jersey spotted him one time down by the sewers north of the Diamond City. You don't know where, uh, when or where he was born or where he lived before finding us. My hunch is, is he survived in a bunker for a couple hundred years within without human contact. Holy crap. Is he a... How does he live that long? A few hundred? A couple hundred years. It only surfaced once his television stopped working, at which point he uh, convinced the Commonwealth for somewhere to keep watching his slasher film collections. Hmm. Others have darker theory? Well... Resultly, observe, uh, advert, 
versed to social situ um, situations and never uttered a word, he appears to be highly intelligent and organized to a fault. Eden. So this gives a little background of who we're dealing with, so it's probably good information. Originally from the west of Nuka World, she's the essence of cool under fire, never panicking or showing her showing much emotion. She wasn't there. Uh, she wasn't there as a kid to see her parents get murdered, but her sister watched it happen. The raider named Sledge raised the two of them afterwards. He may have been an abusive drunk, but at least he taught them how to fight proficiently, especially with knives. Eden and her sister had a falling out in their late teens. To, to hear Eden tell him tell it. She looks for the good in people while her sister believes the natural way of the world is cruelty and kill or be killed. Whatever happened between them, the struggle got uh, heated enough that Eden ended up with a prominent scar across her face. Oh boy. I met Eden after she's, uh, she's, she's been with the Minutemen for a spell. Murphy's first discovered her slaughtering a group of ferals using her blade with the intense and cool precision he'd never seen before. He took a liking to her, and Eden ended up here after the Minutemen fell apart. Harley rescued her from the slavery in Wilmington up north when he when we raided the Baxter Street gang that was holding her captive. Keeps uh keeps her to herself and reads a lot, especially old comics. He started painting her, has has started painting her face recently in strange patterns. Jersey, okay. Uh, spent her young adult life working as a courier traveling between Boston and the town of the West over by Nuka World. First encountered her on a weapons job, convinced her to sell her stash to us instead of Zeller's gang, and she joined up soon after. The butcher dyke vibe, vibe she's giving off is an, an acquired taste, and her habits of snorting wonder glue and picking her nose are you <laughs> still revolting as ever. But in a fight, there is no one else I'd rather have covering my back besides possibly Eden or Aliros. Raven. Grew up with the operators out west until the traveling bug got the best of her. Obsessed with the pa paranormal, she won't shut up lately about the job she planned over at Dunwich Boars. Seems an odd choice giving her fear of heights. Always forgetting things. I keep telling her to go easy on the jet and day trippers. So she's a she's a druggie. Sadie, after Ex, uh, another ex-slave we rescued from the uh, Tub of Blood Raiders Ooh. Uh, when we burned down their camp. Still prone to nail-biting when she, she's nervous and constantly rearranging furniture. Her mental health seems to have otherwise survived the ordeal, mostly intact. Not the greatest fighter, but when it comes to loyalty, it's hard to beat the level you get from her freed uh, from a freed slave caught a nasty case of media recently she won't uh, she won't quit complaining about the itching Ugh. I guess that's what happens when you're uh, in the wastelands uh, Sloan Sloan is it was timid and quiet girl uh, growing up in Diamond City the other kids in the school always made fun of her until one day a uh, Latmer kid went too far at the lunch table. Sloan grabbed a knife off the table and cut her pretty bad. Malcolm Latmer was uh, was incest and used his influence to get Sloan's family banished from Diamond City. Uh, they didn't last long outside the walls. Both parents killed by raiders. Sloan joined up with the rival gang, moody, sarcastic, and judgmental. The uh, 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 absence of primary caregiver as she grew up uh, seems to have left her with some uh, gaping, unfulfilling emotional needs. The chain smoking she engaged in to reveal, uh, sorry, relieve stress makes her voice sound about 20 years older than she is. Yeah, that's the bad thing about smoking is uh, change your voice potentially uh, because 
It's not good for your voice box. Uh, it's not often a raider slave was captured. Uh, capture ends up rehabilitating and working for us, but Sloan was proven handy with repairs, albeit prone to taking apart things when she's anxious and neglecting to put them back together. Um, Taryn? Allergic to instant mash, ter uh, terrified of small metal spaces, and highly sensitive to criticism. I'm about 80% sure she's actually an escaped synth. I'd love to perform a more thorough interrogation to determine the truth. She's Jersey's bitch now. Ah. Uh. Okay, so a little bit of information now we got on our people here. Corporate tax department. A weight room. Take that. Bathroom. Uh, dog meat, can you please, like, just... He just shut the door on me. <laughs> you stupid dog. Is there anything good in... Oh. Hello? Hi. Sloan. Looking for something new to wear? Uh, not right now. He's just in here taking a shower. Come on, dog meat. Oh boy. Oh, we got some stuff to wear. Farm hand clothes. I'm actually gonna take that. Uh we'll get the buff out. Got a little kid's room here. Hello? Don't shoot. Murphy. Oh, hello. Oh, Stella. She's a little kid. She's got a gun. Uh, she, she tricked us, didn't she? Excuse me. Gotta admit, I'm impressed. Stella here tells me this was all her little ruse. No hard feelings, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was... Huh. Why, why would she tell us to come in here, though? Uh, I'll make this easy. Surrender now. I'll kill you. Uh, don't get mushy with me. Uh, I will not recommend this place to my friends. Is this how you treat everyone, or are you just putting on the charm for me? Is this how you treat everyone, or are you just putting on the charm for me? And a sense of humor, too. I like it. Sorry for any misunderstanding. We're a shoot first, ask questions later kind of place. Never can be too careful with looters breaking and entering these days. Don't misunderstand. We're not criticizing you. Those were fair kills. You didn't know who we were, and we didn't know you from a random looter. Thankfully, Stella fessed up. Hey, I was just trying to have a little fun. How was I supposed to know they weren't a common criminal? Yeah, we're all friends now. Let's skip to the part where you help me. That's rather presumptuous. After taking out two of our crew, I wasn't under the impression we owed you anything. Well, that all depends. What kind of help are you looking for? Hold on, I have some questions first. Alright, humor me. What do you want to know? Well, we kind of already know about you a little bit, but, um... What do you do here? I had a lack of sleep, oh boy. Uh, what can you tell me about your about the chill or the child? What can yeah. you tell me tell about, me about the Stella? Child. Uh, Stella hasn't had it easy. Her dad was never in the picture, and her mom raised her at University Point most of her life until the institute torched the place. I met Stella and her mom Judy after they fled to the Quincy in 2285. Helped them build a life for themselves there, and then the Quincy massacre happened. What was the Quincy massacre? Uh, we can get into that some other time. Let's just say that life's greatest dangers often come not from external enemies, but from our supposed friends who pretend to work for the common cause while scheming to sabotage it. When the Minutemen betrayed Quincy, most of the residents ended up slaughtered by the gunners, Judy included. I managed to get Stella out, and we made our way north to Concord. 
and that traitor Preston followed us here. I'm telling you, he was working with Clint the whole time. And now he's right down the street, and you still won't do anything about it. We've been over this, Stella. Innocent until proven guilty. You want me to focus on keeping this place safe from the gunners? Or waste time dealing with the loudmouth fool in the silly hat? Both. I want justice for what they did to my mom. And like I explained, you'll get it if you have patience. Garvey will get what's coming to him eventually. But for now... Wait, hold up. You hear that? Uh-oh. Uh, what is it? Huh? Hold on, let's drink a Nuka Cola real quick. <laughs> I don't know what's going on, but everybody pulled out their guns. Um, just a Nuka Cola. Keep our. Is everybody chill? Oh gosh. Oh, gunners. Oh god. <laughs> oh jeez. Like two shots. I should maybe let them take care of it. I could probably throw in a grenade down there too. I, I just want to make sure I didn't kill anybody else. Okay. Alright. I'm glad that I saved. I think maybe I'm over here. Time to get serious. Alright, Stella. If they come this way. No, 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 no. No, not Stella. Okay, okay, we're, those are our people. I'm literally gonna sit right here because I do not want to die. Okay, there's more. There's some laser pistols. Oh boy. I have a feeling there's gonna be a lot more coming up. Man, they're doing some work down here. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Guys, go down there. Go down there. Go down there. Leave me. <laughs> Leave me be. Um, aid. Meds. Yeah, that's... Let's actually take another one. Uh, it's probably easier to just go in here. Please go down there. Go fight. I'm healing. I don't even know you people, so you can die first. I'm I'm okay with it. I got the last one. Guys, I got the last one. <laughs> uh, I think there's more. Why are we still in danger? Ooh, la oh, our first laser pistol. Oh, there is there is more down here. One downstairs. Where are you? You're in this... Are you back here? Oh my god! Dog meat, go, 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 dog meat. Wait for him to reload. 
Get him. Yes. <laughs> we almost died on that one, too. Uh, let's get a food going here. Uh, Morak chunks. And then we'll drink a little bit of water. Uh, what about some sugar bombs? Still parched. Oh, I can't. I'm gonna take the laser pistol. Okay, I think we're. I think we are done. Uh, let's turn that back on. Whew. All right, I'm glad they did all the shooting. There's another laser pistol. Another one. Patrolman glasses. It's like these are not lootable, but we can take the laser pistols and we can break them down. Right away. That's a lot of components, I think. Uh, I can't walk now. Uh, let's head on downstairs. It looks like we gotta talk to her. Another one. Okay, I'm gonna walk downstairs and then we're gonna get these taken care of. So just give me a second here. Okay, I'm at the workbench here and then we'll break these down. Scrap them. We'll keep one, of course. We'll keep, uh, we'll do all the regular laser pistols. What are we getting out of here? Screws and plastic. Bolstered. Which one's the best? Probably this one with the, the light. Yeah, we'll get rid of this one and the tactical. Yeah, this one's definitely better. Okay. Wait. Oh, God. We got a laser pistol. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and throw a save down, and we'll go talk to... Whatchamacallit up here. Eden. <clears throat> hey. Thanks for your help. Didn't expect help from a stranger. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been here. Um, Those guys were tough. What do you know about them? Like, yeah, they definitely... Those gods were tough. What do you know about them? Most of the words that spring to mind ain't the ones I'd say in polite company. Looks like it was your lucky day. You can say that again. Um, I guess it could have been a lot worse. You guys did a lot of the work. Anyway, <laughs> we appreciate the help. I was more or less the backup. Uh, I was hoping the chance to rescue some more helpless villagers. No, they weren't. They're definitely not helpful or helpless. Uh, sorry, we got off the long, uh, wrong foot. Not going for cause. You aren't afraid of gunners. Will we tolerate? Um, yeah, let's I guess we'll do this one. Sorry, we got off on the wrong foot. Not looking to cause any trouble. You aren't afraid the gunners will retaliate. It's going to get worse. Way worse. Gunners never back down that quickly. They'll attack anyone they think is too weak to defend themselves. There's nothing left they're afraid of. The only way things will get better is if we stand together. Okay. Um, more than happy to stick with it. Uh, stick, stick it to the gunners. We need a way to bring the fight to them. Oh, you interested in traveling together? Oh, a follower. That would actually be kind of nice with especially being so difficult. Mm. Let's ask her. Are you interested in traveling together? Hmm. Now there's a question I don't get every day. You know what? I'm going to take a chance on you. Lead the way. Sweet. All right. What about you? Hey there. <laughs> Uh, you seem different from the most people. Uh, tell me what's on your mind. What do you know about vault -Tec? Yeah, what do you know about vault -Tec, What do bud? you know about vault -Tec? Uh, 
Thanks. I always He's appreciate cool. good advice. Anything else I should know? <laughs> What's people's problem with the Minutemen? <laughs> Why are you asking these questions? You can't. You clearly cannot understand them. That's good to know. Where do we go from here? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Interesting idea. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's. What do you know about synth? Yeah. Let's just Never get out of this. Actually. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. But you're you're not even very easy to understand. Uh, all right, let's head back upstairs. Oh, do we have more pistols? We do. How'd you get in here? Oh, that's downstairs. And I think this is the upstairs. There we go. There's Murphy. Oh, you guys got... You guys are loaded! There's an exit. Holy food store. Excuse me. I was afraid those guys might show up. Thanks for your help. You alright? Yeah, yeah I am. What was kind that of. all about? It's complicated. What do you know about the gunners? Um, oof. just give me the short version. Yeah, that'd be give good. Give me the short version. All right, I'll sum it up. No one's really sure where the gunners started out, but something changed about eight or nine years ago. Out of nowhere, they started sporting plasma weapons, advanced combat gear, and even vertebrates. Doesn't make any sense. Where did they get all that stuff from? Holy crap. That's a good question. I guess I don't know. People bitch about the Institute, but look at what's really been going on. Quincy, GNN, Mass Bay Medical, Mass Fusion, Two Vaults, and all the major freeways. It's the Gunners, not the Institute, who've been gaining the most ground in the Commonwealth. How much of a threat are they? No one invests the resources to capture those strategic locations without a larger agenda. Someone's behind it. We're just not sure who or what. At this point, there's not much to keep the gunners from taking Good Neighbor, Diamond City, or the towns up north. Is there a reason that you're bringing this up? You mean besides the fact that we just got ambushed here in Concord? There needs to be a group to stand up to these assholes. Someone strong, organized, and local. And I'm not talking about the Minutemen. I mean someone with real stones. So what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of details. Ultimately, you gotta ask yourself who you want protecting things. A bunch of Muppets who can't defend what's theirs, or hardened killers who can handle themselves. I hadn't thought of it that way. Uncertainty is sometimes better than an overt threat. If you build a reputation for being a little crazy, your opponents are never sure what messing with you will cost. So, they tend to avoid finding out. Settlers can't instill that kind of fear. Whether it's against raiders, synths, mercs, super mutants, or even mole rats. They've proven time and again that they're incapable of deterring threats to their property over the long term. The Minutemen worked for a while, but they ended up self-destructing. What happened to the Minutemen? Depends who you ask. The challenge with running a militia is that volunteers inevitably have their own agendas. For a coalition to last, there needs to be a chain of command where members don't feel too constrained by your influence but still fear you enough to follow your lead. Maintaining morale requires convincing soldiers to think less about themselves and more about the group. Involve them in a cause, a crusade against a hated enemy, and make them see their survival as tied to the success of the militia as a whole. Of course, it's easier said than done. Somewhere along the way, we lost that sense of common purpose. Infighting took over. 
and the militia gradually splintered into different groups. Some became raiders or joined the gunners, others just disappeared. Quincy was the final blow, and now we're back at square one. Jesus, what a mouthful. What's the plan again? Whether it's the gunners, the institute, or who knows what other groups are out there, they're too powerful to take on directly. So we've got to use our weaknesses as strengths. If your enemy is big and you're small, then by extension, you're fast and they're slow. You're hidden and they're exposed. So we break our forces into independent cells who can operate elusively and autonomously. Mm. Fighting only the battles we know we can win, capturing the enemy's weapons and gear along the way. And using those tools against them in the next encounter. That way, the enemy is supplying us, and we grow stronger as they grow weaker. Kind of like hit and runs. That makes sense, I suppose. Smash and grabs, whatever move? you're going to call them. The gunners are get in, get out. and cautious. It's going to take them a while to figure out what just happened, which provides us an opening. The critical elements in any campaign are speed and adaptability, making decisions faster than the enemy can. Striking first, before the gunners have time to assess and formulate a response, may throw them off balance. Their nearest outpost is up on the freeway, southeast of Walden Pond. That's likely where the attack came from. The freeway wasn't particularly well guarded to begin with. Probably even less so after the raid. I want you to head over there, take out their remaining guards, and steal their weapons, so we can fortify our presence here in Concord. Prove to me you can handle that task, and I'll have a larger project for you when you return. And if you want bonus points, there's rumor of a raider stash over by Corvega. We'll mm. mark the location on your map. I, we actually have the Corvega key. So we could easily do that. Oh, we leveled up. Overdue book. Okay, so we got a follower. Uh, we've got... Now, do we have two followers? Now? Oh, we have Dogmeat and her. Right? No, maybe not. <clears throat> you doing okay? Hold up a sec. There's uh, nothing else. I'd like to trade a few things. Need to ask you something? Oh no, she. Okay, she definitely is. Nothing else. That here. was all I had. All right. Interesting. Okay, so we have two followers now. Oh, I like that. I really like that. All right. Um, I think we should. Oh, I can't do science. Uh, what should we go into? I'm thinking rifleman because I think I'm gonna take one of those those pistols and turn it into a rifle. So let's go into that. Okay. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. There's a lot more here to look at. Radex. All right, what else is back here? Man, this is a really cool setup. CFO's terminal. Checked on program. Okay, so this is ab about the Petectron. Tracy Warwick. Tracy, I reviewed your analysis and of our security inventory shrinkage costs. In light of the recent minimum wage legislation, I'm in agreement with your proposal timeline to gradually automate our retail security. Please proceed with the Robco order. However, I think we should look into bringing some of the Protectron retail modifications, uh, modification research in house, as it will allow us to claim a research tax credit of 100% of the research comp uh, compensation, as opposed to 65 if we outsource. The break room on the bottom floor could be repurposed into a robot research lab if we need be. Oh, that's why there's a uh, a building, a robot building thing there. Tracy, I, pre uh, tre uh, I appreciate your concerns about the tax deducti or deductibility of the employee cafeteria. Uh, we're going to leave it as is. My reasoning as as follows. It's an integral part of our corporate culture. The more we take, make this place feel like a home away from home, the happier employees are, and the more unpaid overtime we're willing to work. 
uh, they're willing to work. We just repurposed the bottom floor break room into a robot research facility. Uh, taking away the cafeteria so so soon wouldn't be healthy for morale. Two, your point about deduction phasing out to, to zero over the next eight years. My operating assumptions uh, assumption is that our imbecile president will be impeached within the next 12 to 18 months or worse, be voted out of office in the next election, at which point the next administration will likely revert the tax rules back to the way they were. Worst case, uh, or three, worst case, we can't just move the expense to another category on the profit and loss statement that is 100% deductible. Just call it supplies or office expenses or something like that, and the audit rate is only something like 1% anyhow. Or anyway, thanks, Gary. Candice. Tracy, uh, this is the last straw. I know I promised I would stay out of your department, but my back's against the wall. I have to fire Candace. Doing cocaine in the bathroom stall was one of the th one thing. At least we had plausible deniability, but when two employees witnessed her snorting lines of coke off her desk? Look, I know she's smart and efficient at her job, but she stressed people out in the weird and the weird behavior. First, the defecation in the sink episode, and now this. Oh, God. I gotta draw a, uh, draw a straw somewhere. Uh, we're going to have to directly supervise the corporate tax department for the time being. I realize the extra workload is uh, this implies, and I promise we'll make it up to you um, bonus time. I'll get in touch with the, the headhunter firm tomorrow to work on finding a replacement. I'm also covering treatment at Parsons for the next month to help get Candace clean. You should receive an invoice shortly. It's actually kind of cool. They were going to help her out. Get her clean. That's kind of nice. Like Fallon's was... That's pretty sweet. Raven? You... Hi. You talk at all? looking to heal up or get high? Either way, I've got something for you. Oh, they're vendors. What do you got to sell? Some supplies, actually. Ooh, this is great. See something you like? You just say the word. Okay, yeah, let's uh, see what you got. Well, they got some Raider power armor. Actually, do you have any meds? To f oh, you don't have any. You have stems. Gosh, I was hoping that she'd have something that we would be able to heal us. Thistle? Hmm. You have any better armor? What about weapons? Handmade sniper rifle. Hmm. Okay, what... Who else do we have to talk to that will might sell something to us? Hi. Didn't Murphy give you a job to do? Okay, Harley. Uh, she looks like hey Harley there. Quinn. <laughs> Look at you. Up to no good, I assume. Alright, uh, Murphy? <laughs> Howdy. What do you have for sale? Ooh, gear I can buy off you? Take a look. We uh oh, got some dialogue screwed up here. Uh, what do we have? Murphy's shotgun. Please, got some, he doesn't have anything. Okay. Murphy's Under Armour. That's like a full set of armor. I'm guessing. One hundred four. How much money to have? Oh, it's almost eight hundred. So we do have some money to spend if we need to. All right. Nothing else I needed. Until next time. Um. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end the episode here. Uh, we'll do a little bit more exploring in the next episode. We we got some jobs to do now. And boy, oh boy. Blood on the highway. Uh, Jewels of Commonwealth. We need to go to the Diamond City. And calling all Patriots. Explore the derelict office building. Which, where is that? Oh, that's by the ASAM. Okay. So, uh, we're going to probably maybe head down to the gunners here 
take that out. Uh, we can actually remove our custom. Uh, how do I do that? Can I? There we go. Um, we should maybe go down there. Oh, I didn't know I could do that. Holy crap. I didn't know I'd do that. Yeah, maybe we should go down there and try that out. Here's Diamond CD. Uh, you know what? We should do the ASAM. I think we're going to head this way next episode. And we'll explore the derelict office as well. Guys, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. If you guys like this video, make sure you guys hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell notification. Uh, also, don't forget to check out our Discord. I have a Discord for the channel. Go go join it. Uh, join the rest of the community. Say hi. Um, I do have a bunch of different channels that you can talk into, uh, especially like Skyrim. Or I just started one for Fallout 4. So if you're an enthusiast of Fallout 4 and you want to talk about your mods or screenshots, uh, you can head over there and post them to the community and start some conversations. That's what I built it for and for you guys to enjoy as well as I am. I mean, I, I love to talk to you guys um, when I'm not creating videos and it's great interaction. So go check that out. Murphy is doing drugs right now. He's getting high. <laughs> Just notice that now. Um, also, I do want to thank all my patrons, subscribers for helping support this channel. Uh, you guys are absolutely amazing. If you want to join them and help support the channel and continue making the channel better, go check out my Patreon page. The information about that is down in the description below. Also, what's down there in the description, you will find an Amazon affiliate link. If you click on that uh, and purchase something while using that link, it helps support the channel as well. It doesn't cost anything. Uh, it doesn't cost you anything, but I will get a, a small little commission. So please use that as your Amazon link from now on. Bookmark it. Uh, and it's 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 no different than going to Amazon. It's just that you give me a, a little bit of, or you help me, I should say. Not give. I mean, it's, it's a tiny. I'm, we're talking like maybe like 50 cents here, there. So it's not a whole lot, but every little bit helps. If we get a bunch of people using it, uh, it could help pay my internet, which is uh really close to being there right now so it'd be really helpful so go use that uh i think that's everything you guys have an absolutely amazing day and we'll see you guys next time